Okay, here is the quick lecture on factoring trinomials with the leading coefficient of one. So to understand this, the first thing you need to do is, let me take you back to the last test, to the midterm, and let's multiply a binomial times a binomial. Okay, so you should be familiar with this. Binomial times a binomial, and the way that we multiply that, the letters that help us remember it, and the word is foil, okay, or as my Aunt Mary said, furl. And what this means is that first I'm going to multiply the first two. x times x gives me x squared. Then I'm going to multiply the outer two. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Then I'm going to multiply the inner two. 5 times x is 5x. And then I'm going to multiply the last two. So I have a positive 5 times a negative 3. A positive times a negative is a negative. And that's going to be negative 15. All right, F-O-I-L. Every time you FOIL, you're going to look to see if you can combine like terms, right? Distribute, combine like terms. And we see here that this and this will combine. Negative 3x plus 5x is going to give me plus 2x. So I have x squared, that comes down, plus 2x minus 15. Now on the midterm, they were asking us to multiply. And this is the answer that we would get. Oh, let's try that again. x squared plus 2x minus 15. This is the answer. You multiply two binomials, you get this trinomial. Now, when you want to factor, what we're doing is we're going the other way. We are taking this trinomial, and we're going to get our two factors right here, which is going to be these two binomials, right? And these are the only two binomials that will multiply to give you this trinomial. And the way that I'm going to show you is going to be kind of the opposite of what we did here. It's the opposite of FOIL. You're going to have to find out what numbers would go here for the first two and what numbers would go here for the last two. And then you have to make sure that the outer plus the inner match up. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see that. Okay, and now let's see how we actually factor the trinomial. So let's start with the trinomial we had was x squared plus 2x minus 15. And now when I factor this trinomial, it is going to be two binomials. And what I need to find out is I need to find out what four numbers to put in here. Now, I know that the first two are going to give me the x squared. The first two are always going to give you the x squared. So that means this one and this one will multiply to give me x squared. Now I have two possibilities. I have x times x, which is what it's always going to be for you, or I have 1 times x squared, and that's not going to be it. So two things that multiply to give you x squared is going to be x times x. Whenever you have a leading coefficient of 1 right here, it's always going to be x times x. Now, this right here, the last two are going to multiply to give me the negative 15. Now the only way to get a negative when you're multiplying two numbers is to have one of them that's positive and one of them that's negative. And now you ask yourself, what two numbers can multiply to give me 15? Well, it could be 1 times 15. Uh, what about 2? 2 times anything going to 15? No. And it could also be 3 times 5. Okay, what about 4? Can four times anything be 15? No, not, not integers. It'd have to be a fraction. So which of these two groups do you think it's going to be? 1 and 15 or 3 and 5? Well, I know that they're going to subtract to give me a 2. How do I know they're going to subtract? I look at this sign right here. This sign right here tells me that it's going to be subtraction. If this was a plus, I would add. But since it's a minus... I need to subtract. So which of these subtract to give me the 2x? And that's right. It's going to be 
the 3 and the 5. So now I have to figure out how to get a positive 2x. See the plus? How do I get a positive 2x? Well, if it's 3 and 5, is it going to be 3 minus 5 or 5 minus 3? Which one gives you the positive 2? That's right. It's going to be a positive 5 and a negative 3. That's how you get this positive. So my answer is going to be x plus 5 and x minus 3. These are the two binomials that multiply to give me the trinomial. This is how you factor a trinomial. Now, I know it seems like a lot of rules the first time you do it. That's why it's very important to continue to work more problems. The more problems you work, the more automatic this will be for you.